How's Ulti doing? Well, he's not talking, but he's here. I can't thank you enough. Just hope the next time I've got good news. and the rest I sent to the cleaners. You didn't need to do that. They got more wear and tear than I expected. <sighs> I'll tell you, I ran off like Cinderella three hours before midnight. My pumpkin was double parked. <sighs> Quinn was pretty disappointed. He and some guy didn't even know asked me your phone number. But it's confidential info. Yeah, well, I told him I'd ask. What was that last night? You show up looking like a normal person, guys are lining up to dance with you, and then you turn and run like your hair's on fire. Discovered my secret. I can't abide gatherings of two or more adolescents. Sorry, it's such a lousy date. Sorry you won't let yourself have fun. I'm warning you, before you start trying to analyze me, I've left a trail of broken therapists in my wacky wake. I'm not trying to analyze you. I just don't understand you. I know. The fact that you like me in spite of that is what makes you so endearing. In fact, I wrote a little something for you. To Dinah. Without guile, without bile, she would surely walk a mile. For a friend or even a stranger, I hope the years will not change her. Thanks. See, you're not that tough. Who needs to be tough when you can be vitriolic? Who needs to use one syllable when you can use four? <laughs> Dinah trashes Margot. Isn't it fun? You're crazy. But yeah, kind of fun. How far to the bus station? About six blocks. Can you be at the airport? <laughs> you can't afford to fly to the end of the runway. It's been a pretty long time since you've seen your old man, huh? He left when I was eight. No goodbyes, not even a postcard. So all this anger's been building up for some time, huh? Yeah. I'm kind of like a bank, you know? Just piling up interest. One way to look at it. That's the only way I like to look at it. So, now you got all this anger saved up. What good's it doing you? Doesn't ever let me forget how a rotten father you was. What about everything else? What else? Well, it's not just your father you're spending the anger on, say. You got uh, trouble at school, your grades are slipping, the fight at the Ridley Center, the loan officer. I can't help that. I mean, when you're angry, you're just angry. No, no, no not necessarily. Now, if, uh, if it is your dad that you're angry at, tell him. I want nothing to do with him. I didn't say kiss and make up. But if he's the one you're mad at, you ought to let him know how you feel and why. You know, this business of getting mad at everybody else, that's, that's doing you no good. That's just trouble. Does this make any sense to you? All the stuff I want to lay on him, man. I mean, it's hard to do that when you know he's dying. Well, it's going to be impossible when he's gone. And then you can be collecting interest on all that anger for the rest of your life, whether you want to or not. I kind of expect you uh, telling me how to forgive him. You might want to do that one day. Not because I told you to.
Just want you to try it. I got a brother there. Hmm. You sure he wants you? At least he doesn't hate my guts. I never said nothing about hating your guts. But don't you think I got a reason to be mad? If you're here to um, offer me your couch, again, I, I appreciate it, but... I'm not. Your children want you to come back. Stay with them. Why? I don't want your blood on my hands. Son, I don't want to mess up your life. You should have thought about that 10 years ago. But don't worry. I figured I was going to be the sole beneficiary of my anger. Come on, let's get home before Shemaya gets a heart attack. I'm still not sure why you're doing this. But, um, I'll try and refund my ticket. I'm not going to give him the satisfaction of seeing me end up a loser. I can't. It's open. Your mom told me you were in here. I got home early. Everything okay? Not between us. Yeah, I know. What she did to me on the phone, it wasn't fair. Not telling me about Kevin's nightmare, that wasn't fair to me. Why didn't you say something? You think I don't know how hard all this is for you? Me, a girlfriend who's always worrying about a baby. Alan always being around. You trying to be good to Kevin without being his father. And if I told you that Kevin was waking up nights and instead of calling for his mommy or daddy, was calling for you? I mean, I didn't think you needed that kind of pressure. You know, I was just trying to keep the road smooth. Steer you around the potholes. You haven't heard the expression, potholes build character. You just made that up. How do you know? Because it is so stupid. <laughs> I was getting married. I didn't want to be a fat bride. I lost 39 pounds on the slim fast plan. I've kept it off for three years, and I still fit into my wedding dress. I feel on top of the world. I take care of myself. I eat right, and I have slim fast for lunch every day. It's delicious. It helps keep me looking like this. 23 vitamins and minerals, protein, calcium, fiber, all the balanced nutrition like a healthy meal. I feel wonderful. Slim fast every day. Balanced nutrition for a healthy life. I did it. You can do it. How many sugars do you want? Oh, I'll take two. Hey, look at the little telephone. Keep your eye on him. He'll be over every day to use it. That's okay. Just as long as he dials 1010 321 first. Isn't 1010 321 great? You should see how low my phone bill is. And now it's better than ever. Saves 50% off calls over 10 minutes. Right, day or night. So I save big on all my most important calls. Like when I call my boyfriend in New York. Right, like when you call your boyfriend in New York. Wait a minute, boyfriend? You got a boyfriend? <laughs> If you leave a job half done, you could be in big trouble, right? Right. <laughs> That's the problem with ordinary pain relievers. They work for a while, then quit. Aleve works all day long with just two pills. And Aleve is safe. It's made with a form of naproxen doctors that are prescribed and trusted for years. So if your pain reliever isn't getting the job done, 
sink it. And try and leave. Two pills, all day relief. Works for me. Since I started using Vanish Hangings with bleach, I have the cleanest smelling toilet in the neighborhood. The Vanish dispenser delivers more bleach where it makes a difference, in the bowl. More bleach to the bowl means a clean toilet. Vanish Hangings with the dispenser that delivers more bleach. Heard the buzz? My honey barbecue wings are back at KFC. Drip it with my zingy honey barbecue sauce. Mmm, now that's finger licking good. Get six for $1.99. And hurry, honey, I'm home. There's a toothpaste so advanced, it keeps working even after you stop brushing. That's Colgate Total. It works all day, wherever you go, fighting cavities and tartar while you're gearing up. It fights bad breath while you're going strong. It even fights plaque and gingivitis while you're dreaming. Long-lasting protection, Colgate Total. The brushing's so advanced, it works between brushings. What makes CBS America's most watched network? We've got TV's funniest comedy. Some people would consider a canoe ride romantic. Guess you didn't see Deliverance. Outstanding dramas. The most talked about new shows. The number one movie night on television. The best news show ever. And the greatest TV viewer of all time. You. Thanks for making CBS America's most watched network. What tragedy could make a man shut himself off from the rest of the world? I don't blend in. CBS Monday. One doctor will find out. You've done everything you can. Doesn't feel like it. Academy Award winner Robin Williams in a rare television appearance. People stare, they react, they say things. Don't miss an unforgettable performance on an all-new episode of L.A. Doctors, CBS Monday. all messed up, Mrs. Green. Moaning, hollering. I, I, I think she might have OD'd or something, huh? Where's the nurse? I couldn't find her. She's back there in the corner. Right back there. What's the matter? Leave me alone. I'll be fine. No, I don't think so. Now tell me your name. Never mind. Just get out of here. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, my God, you're proud. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Now, listen to me. You're in labor. How long between contractions? How often does a pain come? Every ten minutes. minutes. All right, go get an ambulance and find that nurse. No, no, I can't go to the hospital. My parents will kill me. Oh, my God. Beautiful little girl, Celia. Look, thanks for staying with me. No one should have to go through this alone. I'm glad he found you. Look, I'm sorry I, I gave you all that trouble. Are you sure you don't want me to contact the father? You gotta leave that one alone. It's gonna be hard enough dealing with my parents. All right. But no matter what you decide to do, I want you to remember that she's the most important one right now. Someone here ready to hold her baby? Uh. What's her name?
But if I knew you were to be here, I'd have got enough for two. You don't have to worry about me, man. I know. What'd it do? Say, weren't you supposed to be out in the, um, the trailer? Josh and this girl are working on a project. Well, you got a problem me being here? What are you studying? Physiology. Physiology? Yeah. I got a final tomorrow. Well, if you find a cure to prostate cancer, <coughs> you let me know. I'm trying to find an ace so I can cure myself. You know, no more male failure in the Taggart family. That's great. Sure hate to see you screw up in school like I did. I don't plan to. I don't plan to screw up in my life either. Son, if you go to college <clears throat> and you do graduate, you'll be the first male in our family to do that. Make me proud. That's what I'm living for. Now that'll make my day. You know, this 10th grader almost had a baby at school today. Yeah? Hmm. Everything alive? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, except for the fact that there's no father, to step up for the kid. Hmm. You didn't know she was pregnant. You know how they keep to themselves at this age, and who can tell anyways with all this baggy clothes? You should have been talking to her. I tried, huh? Yeah, but I can't make her. Any idea who the father is? She never brought any of the bums home. That's because you treat them all like criminals. Well, look what we got. We should have never let her go out. I'm gonna kill the scum that she got hooked up with. Kevin, I don't deserve this. You know, I worked my butt off to give my family a decent life, and for what? You still have a beautiful daughter, Mr. Martinez, and now you have a granddaughter. They're both gonna That's need you. Well, you're wrong, lady. I don't know any granddaughter, and as soon as that kid's ready, it goes up for adoption. Kenny! I will handle this, Yolanda. And as soon as we get Celia home, she stays home, and she doesn't leave except for school. Who do I talk to about this adoption? The first person would be your daughter, Mr. Martinez. It's her baby. And if the father comes forward, it's his too. And they're the ones that make the decision. It's the law. Yeah? Yeah, I'd like to see Celia raising a kid on her own. What are you talking about? She isn't raising it in my house. I know it's a problem, Fred, but it's just not my problem. Then make it my problem. I'll do the scout work, put together an organization. Look, they got a pretty solid program over at McKinley High. We just ship all the unwed mothers over there. It's geographically undesirable. Don't you want to be known for starting a program at Northwestern? I want to be known as the guy who sent kids to Yale and Stanford. This is the education business, remember? And how many girls lose an education because they have babies? Well, they shouldn't have gotten pregnant in the first place. So easy, Vince. I like easy. Look, this whole thing scares the hell out of me, Claire. I got a very delicate situation around here with whites, blacks, Hispanics, and the Asians. You know, and parents start thinking that you're catering to one group. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. What group are you talking about? <sighs> Come on, you know what I'm saying. And I don't like it. This problem comes in all colors, and I'll prove it to you when we get it started. When? That's not gonna happen. Not unless I make it happen. Get some out the closet. Hey, it's your room. Yeah, right. <sighs> you ready for your test? Ain't no thing. <sighs> hey, 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 let me see that. That, that right there, that, that glove. Toss it to me. <laughs> you remember this? Sort of. Yeah, yeah. You wore this in Little League. Yeah, played shortstop. You're pretty good, too. Uh, once I helped you with your fielding. It's a hundred years ago, man. Oh, come on, you gotta remember that one great day. It, I kept throwing you grounders, and you'd scoop them up, and then you'd toss them back to me like a little... Don't make, why do I continue to have to go down memory lane with you? It, it was a great day. We, we were... I don't 
remember it. Let me tell you what I remember, man. I remember waiting and hoping that you would show up. You know, maybe this little memory with the glove will come up when I get Alzheimer's or something. That's it. That's it. Where do you think you're going? For a walk. Why don't you do yourself a favor, old man? Don't go outside before you bust a gut. You had it, you. Bust a gut. Bust a heart. Put a new gal! Oh!